leaders across all specialties. We are the voice of the nurse practitioner. As an NP, a practitioner who has provided primary care to our military and their families, and as the spouse of a, of a retired military service member, I am proud to be here in San Antonio, Texas, to draw attention to the vital health care needs of our nation's veterans. And I'm honored to share this podium with several of the millions of brave men and women who have served our country and kept us safe. These veterans now join with us in supporting the Veterans Administration in providing our nation's heroes direct access to high quality nurse practitioner care in the VA system. Today, veterans needlessly wait far too long to receive the health care they deserve. And here in San Antonio, some 7,000 plus veterans wait longer than 30 days to receive health care, while some 4,900 veterans must wait between 31 and 60 days for care. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs has put forward a solid plan and it, to adopt a 21st century approach health care delivery that will address that need. On May the 25th, the VA opened a 60-day public comment period on a proposed regulation that would give veterans direct access to high-quality primary care delivered by NPs at VA facilities. It is important to note that many veterans already benefit from NP-delivered health care. This proposal would standardize that delivery across the country. The VA's proposal is on solid footing. The model put forward is backed by decades of research, also by recommendations by leading scientific policy organizations such as the National Academy of Sciences, formerly known as the Institute of Medicine and the National Council of the State Boards of Nursing, and years and years of experience in states across the country. We applaud the VA for following the evidence and the recommendation of healthcare experts in proposing this update that will immediately improve veterans' access to care and help reduce wait time. The proposed rule provides needed flexibility across the VA setting. It allows veterans to directly access the primary care expertise that nurse practitioners are well qualified to provide. Nurse practitioners are a vital and growing resource in healthcare and provided over 800 million patient care visits to patients across the nation last year. NPs hold advanced degrees, national certifications, and have years of academic and clinical ex um, education and experience. We bring to our veterans more than 50-year track record of service to our nation's military and our veterans. Today, NPs are already authorized to work at this level in 21 states in the District of Columbia with outcomes equivalent to or better than our physician counterparts. The 4,800 nurse practitioners in the VA already care for veterans by providing clinical assessments, ordering and interpreting diagnostic tests, making diagnoses, and initiating and managing treatment plans, including prescribing medications. It's time to make this care directly and more readily accessible to our nation's veterans and to open access to care for our veterans in our nation's veteran health care system. This will honor our veterans and our heroes with the high quality health care they so richly deserve. 
There are just days to make a difference, and we invite every American, every veteran, service member, and their families to support the VA in moving forward with this very important proposal. I thank you today, and I am joined by some honored guests that I would like to introduce to you. With us today is Lloyd Buckmaster from the American Legion 20th District. He's the 20th District Commander from here in San Antonio. Would you care to say It is a shame that our veterans have to wait as long as they have to wait to be seen. And it's not a problem of the doctors, it's a problem of the VA system. But it's very important to know that these doctors cannot keep up with these patients and the numbers. It is very important that there be other practitioners that can see those patients and give them that equal care, that qualified care, and get them taken care of in an expeditious manner. I worked for 10 years in prisons, both in Oklahoma and Arizona, as a physician assistant. Lo and behold, if I had made one of those people wait 30 days to be seen, I'd have been in court the next week with a lawsuit against them. The correctional system law says that you will see those people within a week and in some cases the same day, depending on the complaint. We don't have that kind of law or that kind of regulation for our veterans. I spent 26 years in the military, and I'm damn proud of it. I've been a legionnaire for 34 years, and so for 34 years, I've been pretty involved with VA care. And I've seen hospitals that were able to do their job that was supposed to be done, and I've seen others that didn't. Recently, when Mr. McDonald took over the VA system, we thought it would change. But it hasn't changed very much. As a matter of fact, it hasn't changed hardly at all. It is important that this proposal that the VA has put forward in regards to the nurse practitioners be approved, be enacted. Nurse practitioners are not a threat to doctors. They know they're not doctors, and they're not trying to take that doctor's job. And even though, even if, if, even if they put 10,000 of those nurse practitioners to work, there is still going to be plenty of patients for those doctors to see. It's just that that patient won't have to work 30, <laughs> wait 30 to 60 days to be seen. Thank you.
have Dr. Alicia Rossiter, who is a retired lieutenant colonel from the United States Air Force. Good morning. I am here actually not only at the Veterans Club, but I'm also an advanced practice registered nurse. Um, I am here today to support the proposed rule change allowing uh, advanced practice nurses full access to um, provide care to veterans within the VA healthcare system. The VA has an access problem. You are all aware of that. What most people do not know is that the, uh, the problem that we currently have is that it's visible. There's also 80% of veterans who are not being seen in the VA. They're being seen in the civilian sector due to these access problems. We need to bring these veterans back to the VA to be cared for by individuals, healthcare providers, nurse practitioners, CRNAs, physicians, PAs working uh, collaboratively and interprofessionally, bringing them back to the VA where they can get culturally competent care where individuals know about service-connected diseases, uh, risk factors, comorbidity, secondary to military service, bring them back in so that they can receive this care, this care by uh, providers who are aware of their um, unique health care needs. Simply put, no, no veteran should have to wait for help. Period. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to invite Dr. Elizabeth Barker, who is a retired Navy, U.S. Navy captain, and also a Thank you for having me today. Um, I am extraordinarily proud of my service to my country. I spent over 30 years in the United States Navy, and I am acutely aware of the need for veterans to get the kind of care that I know nurse practitioners can provide. Remember that one of the hallmarks of our care is not only that we take care of a disease, but we also promote wellness. And as we promote wellness, and our patients are more well, then the cost to take care of these patients decreases because they are not victims of avoidable uh, serious health problems. So this is a unique piece that nurse practitioners bring to the care of veterans. I'm appalled when I see how long it takes for a veteran to get into good primary care, and I am 